Hey everyone, welcome back to Christian's Crypto Corner. Today I'm going to be showing how to connect your Ledger hardware wallet to MetaMask in order to use it for certain websites or applications that currently do not support direct integration with your Ledger wallet. So what you're going to need to do before you start is make sure your browser, Ethereum app on your Ledger device and the Ledger firmware, make sure all those are up to date so you don't run into any problems. And if you're interacting with smart contracts, swapping tokens or NFTs, um, you're gonna wanna probably have blind signing on your ledger enabled. And I'll link the video in the top right to show you how to do that. And to start, we're gonna unlock our MetaMask if we haven't already, and then click the profile circle in the top right and go down to connect hardware wallet. We're going to open that up and select ledger because that's what we're working with today and it's going to tell us to plug in our ledger wallet so i'm doing that right now and it's going to tell us to unlock our ledger with the pin code that i've set up all right so now i've unlocked my ledger and it's going to tell us to open the ethereum app so i'm going to do that by pressing the top two buttons on my ledger device I'm using the Ledger Nano S, so it may be a little bit different depending on which ledger you're using. Now we're gonna click continue, and it's gonna prompt us to connect to an HID device, so it's gonna tell us to click our Nano S, and then connect. So now it's looking for my ledger device, and it's gonna pop up with a list of accounts that are on this device. So you can um, check the full address. Um, you can check the full address by clicking this pop out. It's gonna bring you to Etherscan. Um, but if you already know the beginning and end of your wallet address, you can just select the account and then click unlock. And that's all you have to do. Now my ledger is connected directly into my MetaMask extension. Um, if I ever need to make a transaction, sell something, or take any action with my Ledger device through MetaMask, I'm going to need the actual hardware wallet with me. Um, this is, again, just for solving the problem of interacting with websites and applications that don't support direct integration with the Ledger hardware wallet. So the workaround for that right now is connecting your hardware wallet to an extension like MetaMask and then using MetaMask with the website and just um, confirming any transactions that needs to be processed with your Ledger device. So I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, also please leave those in the comments. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.